everybody. So I thought today I would make up my own tag, Colombia slash Colombian tag. My mum is Colombian, my dad's English, so that's how I'm Colombian. I'm Cali. Okay, so my mum, if she's really annoyed at me or something, she'll like give me the orders to like do. So if she's like, ah, Olivia, vaya y organice el cuarto. She will always finish it with carajo. Okay, my Colombian family is huge. So my mom is one of eight brothers and sisters and each one of them is married and has at least two kids. So I have loads of first cousins. There's about 30 odd of us and now they're getting married and having kids of, of their own. So it's just like a huge family. I would say empanadas. It's so good and I love um, biting off the top bit and putting a little bit of lemon and then putting a little bit of ahi and I do that at every stage that like I'm taking a bite from the empanada. Apart from my family I guess I'd say the weather and the way of life. I would say Santa Marta. Okay, so my favourite novella of all time is Betty La Fea. I loved La Pola, which was amazing because it was set during the time when Colombia was still colonised by the Spanish and it was really, really good and it was had like amazing costumes and it was um, historical at the same time, so I loved that. I'd say RCN. I love RCN. Adriana Arboleda. Shakira. I love Shakira. I have loved her since she was famous when she was 14. My personality, I guess physically, parts of me do look Colombian. I've got a Colombian ass, so if I'm somewhere warm and sunny, I get tanned really quickly. I would say Mark Antony's Ahora Quien. He's really, or oh, actually, um, Grupo Nietzsche, I think, and it's uh, Cali Pachanguero. That song is awesome. The bar on the top floor of El, El Hotel Now in Cali, in Granada, especially if you go at night, it has the most amazing view of Cali. The cocktails are really, really nice. When I'm there, like I will be there on holiday. I tend to wake up really early on holiday. And then I'll have breakfast, which would usually be hot chocolate, cheese, half an arepa and a huevo frito. It's pretty much straight into getting changed into a bikini and then going to a club campestre, sunbathe, and then probably doing some form of sport or something. And eating like loads of empanadas by the poolside. We, we might go somewhere like Granada and maybe go shopping or something just actually spend a lot of time with the family so like just chill out and have like a nice family time and then in the evening go Colombians going to live in the US and then they come back to Colombia and then they start speaking to you half in English that really annoys me so you know I speak fluent English but if I'm in Colombia I'm not going to be become like a pretentious idiot and forget how to speak Spanish so they sort of go around and like, Ay, hola, como estas? Ah, oh, um, you look so beautiful. And it's like, no, no, that, that, that doesn't work. Just don't speak to me in English. Okay, first of all, the ignorance and the stigma. They like, the only thing they can think of about Colombia, you know, is all the negative side of things, which you can, you, you guys, can all there so I'm just not gonna say it. Then like they spell Columbia with a U. Oh my god, like I'm a really bad speller, but seriously, you find misspellings in the newspapers and in like TV programs. Columbia is with two O's. There is no U in Columbia. Yeah. I know I wrote this, but I actually can't think of something. Um, 
Colombians are really warm and friendly. So if you meet any Colombian, be that in Colombia or anywhere around the world, they are huge ambassadors for their country. So they're really, really proud. And they will always say, oh my God, you've got to come to Colombia. And if you come, um, you have to come and stay with me. And this is totally true. Like, honestly, I do that all the time. Um, you guys should go to Colombia. I turned 15 actually when I was in London. I went to Colombia for the summer because that's what I normally do. I go to Colombia every summer. And so I had like all of my family come round and we had a really, really nice dinner and we all dressed up and all my cousins were there. You know, obviously they take loads of photos of you. And then I got like an album. And then we ended up going to San Andres to celebrate it. So my quinceañera was really, really fun. Oh yeah, and obviously we had mariachis. If you have a quinceañera, it's not a quinceañera until you have mariachis turning up at your house, singing all of the awesome songs like El Camino de la Vida, and then having like all of your aunts basically try and steal the microphone from the singer and like sing really loudly. So yeah, I would say that that's the best way to describe it. Okay, if you don't know who Andres Lopez is, you are not Colombian. I am sorry, but he is the best. I love him. When he's like, when the dad's trying to play a computer game with the um, with the with the son, and like he interprets the monster, um, because I've seen that happen all the time with my little cousins and my uncle, so it's really funny, um, and that really makes me laugh. But pretty much the entire pelota de letras is just amazing. I love mango with salt and lemon. Nothing beats that. Like right now, my mouth is watering. I love it so much. And oh my God, it's so good. And especially in the airport, they sell it. And on the street, oh my God, I want some right now. Being a Latina is awesome. I know, it's just, you have such an amazing culture that's already embedded within you and um i just love that and especially like colombians i think are really unique i mean i'm just really proud of being colombian and all the culture and the colors and the history so and my family and all the rest of it i'd say loud loud <laughs> i always go to el obelisco and la librería nacional I guess with El Oelisco, it's really nice because it's like tiny little empanadas and you're having like really scrummy lulas, which are just amazing. There's nothing quite like La Libreria Nacional. I tend to have the crepe con pollo and it's so nice. And then I'll share like ice cream or banana split with someone. And I love the fact that they're really nice little booths and every time you go there, you know someone. And plus they sell loads of magazines and books and you can go and grab some um, magazines, take it to your table, read them whilst you're waiting for your food. Mm. I would say se me voló la paloma. Plus in Colombia they actually did do an advert for, um, I can't remember what it was exactly, but the entire thing was like people had like little white doves sat on their shoulders and they were about to say something and they forget what it is. And basically the dove flies away and it's really funny. Cali. So I did grow up in Colombia. I lived in Colombia between the ages of 6 and 12. And I tend to go there every summer. So I pretty much grew up in Colombia as well as in London. But sort of like my vital childhood years I guess was in Colombia. Just of all of my family and my cousins and my sister and like aunts and uncles and grandparents all in a country house and we're all like just the entire day was spent by the pool and then we'd go horse riding and eat loads of really yummy food and climb trees and just be out in the wilderness and just have just an amazing time and then dance all the time and laugh I think it's a really really nice thing to have been able to have grown up in Colombia and just like I love London but 
I think growing up in sort of greenery is really, really healthy and just really nice. And because I've only got one sister, having loads of cousins was like the most amazing thing. The bad stigma and the bad press that's related with it. As a girl, you touch your hair all the time. And when you say si senora all the time when your mom calls you, or si senor, like those little things, I think are just extremely Colombian. Or like, for instance, when you're speaking to your grandma in Colombia, and at the end you always ask for la bendición, and you're like, si abuelito, and like you ask for the, the like blessing, that's really Colombian. Uh, bon bon bon. And probably uh, Lula flavor or the original. Pocket. Gatorade. Well, I tell them about Colombia all the time and what Colombia is actually really like. So all the scenery and all the countryside and the weather and the fact that we have, you know, mountains and beaches and islands and really cosmopolitan cities and really good looking girls and really good looking guys and the fact that it actually is really safe. I have this turtle, which is amazing. I got him in Cartagena and the fact is that it opens and you can have a candle in there. I've got like a fake little one because it actually gets really hot. But I love my little turtle. Little frog. Um, I got him in Santa Marta and it's like one of these like little whistling ones. So I love my little frog. Little froggy. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video. Please remember to subscribe and to give it a thumbs up and comment, you know, if you have any more questions that you feel that would be really good, then put them, like, leave a comment. And if you guys do make your own video, I would love it if you, like, tagged me or, like, a link in the comment below so I can see it because I think it would be really, really fun to, like, get this Colombian tag to be used around. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching and see you guys really soon. Bye.